Hey everyone, welcome to our Angular tutorial series. In this video, we will explore how to get the current date in Angular 17. Whether you are building a calendar app, a scheduling system or just need to display the current date. This tutorial will provide you with valuable insights and engaging examples. So let's get started. First, let's create a new Angular component where we will implement the current date functionality. So open your terminal and navigate to your Angular project directory and run this command to generate a new component ng generate component space and the name of the component current dash date all right our new component has been generated so let's open the current date dot component dot html and let's replace its content with div and h2 tag current date and let's add the p tag that will say today's date is and here we will use the current date and we will use the date pipe that is built in pipe from the angular so here we have an html template that displays a heading and a paragraph the current date variable will hold the current date value and we use the date pipe to format it now let's update the component class to retrieve the current date so open the current date dot component dot ts file Let's add some code in it. So first of all, I will add a current date and I also want to implement the on init. So make sure to import the on init from the angular slash core. And now I need to implement it in my class as well. So for that ng on init function. And now I also need a constructor and in that constructor, I will set this start current date is equal to new date and we don't need this if we are using constructor I just can set the type okay now I will create a function update current date and it will return nothing but it will do something it will run the interval we will use a set interval and this interval will run after every second and within this i will use this start current date is equal to new date okay now i will call this function this start update current date within ngon in it now let me explain what we have done here we imported the necessary dependencies from angular and we declared a property current date of type date and in the constructor we initialize the current date with the new instance of the date object which represents the current date and time and then in ng on init lifecycle hook we call the update current date method which sets up an interval using set interval this interval updates the current date property every second ensuring that the displayed date stays up to date to use this current date component in your angular application let's open the desired template file where you want to display the current date for example, let's say you want to show it in the app.component.html file. So for that, I open the app.component.ts and as I'm using Angular 17 standalone components, I can directly import my standalone component into this import array. So for that, just use current date component and that's it. Now go to the HTML file of this component and here we will simply import app.currentDate okay this will render the current date component and display the current date in your application now let's quickly test it all right so you can see it is showing the current date and as we have specified the interval in it that runs every second so as soon as the date is changed it will be updated here in the real time you know now how to get the current date in angular 17 by creating a dedicated component you can easily reuse this functionality throughout your application the date object provides a straightforward way to retrieve the current date and date pipe allows you to format it according to your needs feel free to experiment with different date formats and customize the component to suit your specific requirements you can extend this functionality to include additional features like displaying the time or allowing users to select a specific date. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more engaging Angular tutorials like this one. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and share it with your fellow developers. Happy coding!